Happy Autumn Tour my friends! To celebrate Vancouver as the spotlight track of this tour, I wanted to make an extra special video for you guys. Sit back, relax, and like the video. So I made 5 reskins for characters in Mario Kart Tour and I'll be going around Vancouver and showcasing their beauty. The location I'm at right now is Science World and pretty much this is a science museum and you can see this big globe outside the ice rink in Mario Kart Tour's Vancouver Velocity. Last time I came here was in the dark with Shaga Kart last year and you couldn't really see the museum that well. This time I came here during the day and as you can see the museum is absolutely popping. Isn't it so freaking awesome? So the first reskin I made for this video is Toad Swimmer with the special skill Triple Mushrooms. Our last high in Toad Alt, believe it or not, was in the Snow Tour last year when level 7 came out. And another sad thing is that our last 3 high in Toad Alts have all been ports from other games. Our last full unique Mario Kart Tour exclusive Toad Alt was Party Time Toad. Second up we have is one of my favorite alts in this video being Koopa Troopa Bandit with the special skill Lucky 7. The tour that he could probably debut in is a Wild West tour. He could be featured in the spotlight shop alongside our boy, Nabbit. My favorite part of making this alt over here was definitely changing his main green color to a black. And honestly, Koopa rocks this look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Alrighty you guys, enough with Science World. Now let's go to BC Place and the famous Rogers Arena Ice Rink. Let's continue the Vancouver fun. Alrighty you guys, we have finally made it! Fun fact, BC Place is actually lit up in the signature hockey team Vancouver Canucks colors in the nighttime. You guys can see this in action in my Vancouver vlog that I made last year in December. It looks absolutely beautiful! Fun fact, actually the ice rink is really small and it's located right beside the BC Place. As you can see the ice rink or Mario Arena is right there. But BC Place is honestly the main attraction here because it's bigger and better. So carrying off of that, the Rogers Arena is used for hockey and of course celebrity performances and BC Place right over here is used for football, the BC Lions. So let's go back into the fun and showcase my third alt being PD Piranha Halloween with the special skill Giga Bomb, you guys. It was honestly so disappointing when Nintendo released a Gold Driver as a spotlight character for the Halloween tour, so I felt the need to show you guys what was actually possible in the Halloween tour 2022. There were so many options for new characters in this tour, and a lot of them could have been taken from this Mario calendar, but Nintendo didn't use them. And honestly, if I could make this alt, so can Nintendo. My favorite part of making this alt was also covering his mane. I changed it from red to black and it honestly looks very very beautiful and fits the Halloween aesthetic. Make sure to rate this alt out of 10 in the comments down below. Fourth alt we have is another seasonal villain. You guys know I love my minions. Right here we have his Monty Mole Reindeer. Super unique. His special skill is Super Bell, fitting well with Christmas and of course, reindeers. Monty Mole is another forgotten driver in this game so I definitely think he deserves a alt. But if we come back into reality, Nintendo would probably just color Monty Mole Gold, sell him for 150 rubies, and call it a day. <sighs> Sad life. Okay you guys, that is it for BC Place and Rogers Arena. Now let's end off this video with my favorite alt at my favorite fast food chain. Let's go! And lastly, I went to the famous Canadian fast food chain being Tim Hortons. Let's go you guys, Tim Hortons sponsor me. But nah, the reason why I like this place, like, eat it all the time is due to the variety of vegetarian and vegan options, you guys. I'm vegetarian and it's hard for me to go to fast food places and find food that I actually like that is vegetarian. So, that's why I love this place. And the food absolutely slaps. It's so good. I could eat this every day. So the drink I got is actually a small double-double coffee. I absolutely love coffee. However, my main to-go drink from Tim Hortons is actually a caramel ice cap. However, Vancouver is really cold. It's in its rain era. Raincouver, you could even call it. So enough with the food talk. Let's end off this video with my last reskin that I made, which is absolutely my favorite, which is why I saved it for the end. I made Shy Guy Honeybee. Look at this beauty. As you guys all do know by now, Honey Queen is my most wanted original character in Mario Kart Tour. So of course I had to make my boy Shy Guy into a honeybee to represent my girl, Honey Queen. The tour that this guy could debut in is the Spring Tour, and he could have the special skill Coin Box. 
Yes, the coin box, because Shy Guy definitely deserves it. My favorite part of making this ult was definitely his little bee stripes. I found a tool on Photoshop, so I removed the Shy Guy belt, like the regular one, and I replaced it with all these, like, bee stripes. Now, let's go home and end off this video. The City Tracks and Marker Tour are honestly what keeps the players coming back to this game. And it's really disappointing, to be honest, when the City Tracks never return almost. It's really disappointing because in the meta, the city tracks are forgotten about and honestly treated really poorly, rightfully so, because they almost never return. And this is not what you want in your game, Nintendo. You do not want to hide the city tracks away from us, especially when the game is about the city tracks. Why don't we have them in regular rotation, you know? And it's honestly really funny because in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you could play these city tracks more than you could play them in Mario Kart Tour. There's no logic in that, to be honest. There are many more city track variants that are going to come to Mario Kart Tour like Singapore Speedway 3, that beautiful Chinatown with that alternate music, which I'm super, super, super happy about. We have this Bangkok Rush 2, we're gonna see that Ganesha statue again, and of course, Vancouver Velocity 4. Nintendo also took a really interesting route, which I loved, and released city tracks as battle courses, kind of treating them like a fifth variant, like New York Minute this tour. It's also been data mined that Paris Promenade as a battle course will appear sometime in the future, maybe even next tour, which is very, very awesome. Nintendo does an amazing job picking the best and popular cities to include in Mario Kart Tour and they always kill it and design them fabulously, like fabulously. And the soundtracks, the BGMs are always top notch and incredible. The Mario Kart Tour team definitely, 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 definitely deserve their 10s on this. Great job Mario Kart Tour. Some cities I would like to see in the future are some for Mexico, Dubai, and maybe some more in Canada like Toronto. I'd love to see which route Nintendo takes for a Toronto city track, you know? Let me know in the comments down below your city track wish list. Speaking about that, lots of people have been speculating that Spain is up next for the next city track in Mario Kart Tour. We'll see about that. And now I want to give a shout out to some of you guys, my amazing Shy Guy squad. First up we have his Magneto, we have his Miguel, and then we have his Toad Cart. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel, leaving kind comments, and overall being positive towards my channel. I really do appreciate it you guys, and support like this is what always keeps me going. If you want to get a shout out in my next video or a future video, all you have to do is be a positive commenter on my video. Interact in my comment section. It's pretty easy. Start a conversation, you know. I always read my comments and sometimes also reply to them. Keeping awesome, you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting all my content. And I'm so glad that I got to make my fourth Vancouver video. Stay blessed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.